It's been a long time I showed my face over here, but yeah, today I'm showing my face. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I smooth in skin using Lasso tool and then mix a brush tool together with frequency separation in Photoshop. My name is Ekordedi and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This video is going to help you improve your retouching skills and then it's also going to make retouching more faster for you to do. To add more, it's going to make retouching more easy and then more fun. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe and don't forget to like this video as well. I know it means nothing to you but it means a lot to me and to this channel as well so kindly do it for me. Now let's jump right into the video and start editing. Alright, so I have my image loaded up here in Photoshop and as you can see, we have two layers over here. So what I did at first is I did the minor cleanups in Photoshop over here. So I just removed some pimples on the face just to prepare the image for the frequency separation or the main retouch itself so with that done i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to create the frequency separation layers that is what we are going to actually apply our lasso tool and then the mixer brush tool on so i'm going to first press ctrl and then select both the background and the new layer and i'm just going to merge it into one layer like this all right so once that is done i'm going to zoom out so we have this image here and then we're gonna press and hold ctrl and then j to duplicate the image so we're gonna duplicate it twice so we have two layers over here we have layer one copy and layer one all right so we're gonna change layer one the name of layer one to color like this and then we're gonna change layer one copy to texture all right so we're gonna Creates the separation that's called the uh, frequency separation. We're going to separate the textures from the color of the image. So, first and foremost, I'm going to hide our texture layer and then select the color layer. And I'm going to move to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. All right, so we're going to set our Gaussian blur radius to 2.3 is okay. But I'm going to set it at say. 2.9 is fine for me so i'm going to set it at 2.9 select okay all right so our image is kind of blur for now yes so now we're going to extract the textures from this image right so we're going to come here select the texture layer make it visible by pressing the um, the eye icon over here and i'm going to come to image applied image then i'm going to change this layers to color and i'm going to change i'm going to leave the channels at rgb i'm going to change this to subtract like this now we have our image looking like this so we're going to change keep this we're going to uh, change the scale to two then the offset at 128 then we're going to select ok what we're going to do next is, as you can see, we have this ghost effect on our image over here. So, control zero to zoom out to fit the screen. So, we're going to come to our blend modes over here and then change it to linear light. As you can see, we have our image looking exactly the way as we started. So, you can't see any difference. But there's a lot of things going on right now. So, apparently, we have our textures on one layer and we have our color on another layer as well right so we're gonna make this visible i'm gonna select the color and then create a new layer within between the two right so i'm gonna change the name of this one to tones so we're gonna do a little bit of toning and um balancing or yeah balancing the colors as the tone we're gonna do all the tonal works on this layer so I'm going to press enter. So I'm going to select texture and then hold shift and then press on color. Then I'm going to put this into a group like this. I'm going to change this group name to frequency separation or FS like this. Enter. And I'm going to open it. I'm going to select the color. 
hey if you haven't subscribed yet kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe for me and don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section if you if you are learning anything or if you've learned anything so far i'll be really happy to hear from you guys all right so on the color layer i'm going to select my lasso tool so this is when the lasso tool starts we're going to come in with the lasso tool so we're going to select the lasso tool like this and then please remember it always has to be on the color layer all right okay so my feather is at 7.3 um, which is kind of too much so i'm going to lower it a little bit to let's say 4.8 and i'm going to circle around this side so what we do with um uh, the lasso tool is you're going to select the areas of the face where you want to smooth in right yeah so you're gonna go by it bit by bit you're not gonna select the whole face and then just apply your effect on it at once because the tones are different so over here as you can see i've selected just the highlights i'm gonna work on that and then build up from there from the highlights go to the mid tones and go to the shadows as well all right so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come to filter blur dungeon blur and this is our radius this is the second radius right so we're gonna set I normally love to zoom out a little so that I can see what is going on. So as you move the radius uh, bar left and right, you're going to see the effects appear onto the image, right? So um, I love to keep my images of the skin more natural, so not too much smooth. Otherwise, it's going to look kind of artificial, which won't look that good. But you're going to see the overall um, effects other side yes at the preview bar so yeah so i'm gonna just keep it normal minimum not too much so it's gonna i'm gonna keep it at four points four point nine is okay for me i'm gonna select okay then i'm gonna let me let me increase the feather a little bit more let's let's just keep it at seven seven point three i think that is cool so we're gonna select this side this side is more of a um mid-tone i'm gonna select this side then right click and select gaussian blur because we've already fixed the gaussian blur radius we've already set it already so whenever you right click and then select gaussian blur it's going to apply the first or the initial settings onto the image like this all right so i'm going to select the side right click gaussian blur so you're going to repeat this to the whole image or the, the whole parts that you want to smooth in to get the effects as you want it like this all right so as you can see we have some effects going on some smoothening effects going on already so let's check the before and after so this is the before and this is the after as you can see it's looking much smoother than it was before all right so we're going to go ahead and then continue with the same process so i'm going to come here there's a highlight over here select and then right click gaussian blur right click select gaussian blur this repeats this as i have shown to the image like that i right click yeah if, if you don't want to go through um the process of making the the frequency separation layers over here i have i have a link in the description below where you can check out and then you can just download it to do it on your own so that is going to appear in the action it's more of an action so you're just going to play the action and you're going to get everything made for you as simple as that all right so i'm going to continue and then just keep applying the gaussian blur to have to the face and zoom out so let's come to the neck as well so as you can see circle right click gaussian blur Right click, Gaussian Blur. Right click, Gaussian Blur. Right click, Gaussian Blur. Alright, now let's check the before and after. So, this is the before and this is the after. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see it's much clearer. So, this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, we have some smoothing effects going on. All right, so we're going to proceed and then add the mixer brush tool 
to it to make it even much smoother and then much consistent all right so we select our gadget layer over here and then make sure i don't know how your settings are going to be but when you select this go to clean brush so this is how it's going to look like then make sure this is unselected and then select this it might be like this so you just select this and leave this as custom or whatever it says you just set it as custom like this wetness at 30 percent load 30 mix 30 30. this settings could change or it changes depending on the effect it gets me here so um you leave this at 30 30, 30 for starters flow at 30 this at um 100 percent a 10 percent sorry and then you're gonna uncheck this yeah this is pressure it's it's affects the pressure of your um wacom or your uh your tablet yeah but i'm using the mouse at the moment so i'm not gonna focus on that so yeah all right so let me zoom in and let me start smoothing with a mixer brush too so still on the color layer i'm just gonna decrease and then just brush like this just take your time with it and then make sure everything is looking nice so you're just gonna keep mixing 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 so the colors are or to the tones are consistent because it is this kind of line over here that i would like to clear so i'm gonna keep mixing Increase and decrease the brush. You're gonna press open brackets to decrease and then close brackets to increase the size. Yeah. So I'm just gonna continue to smooth in. So you're just gonna follow the steps that I'm showing and then you're gonna get your skin looking smooth. to the cheekbone I'm gonna do the same thing to it and this is actually my face <laughs> it's actually a self portrait that I meet my friend take over me that is Kid K yeah he's also on youtube over here i'm gonna leave the link to his channel so that you can check him out as well he's a very good photographer and a graphic designer and yeah he's into youtube as well so you can check him out so you're gonna take your time with it and then just Continue until you have your skin looking perfect the way you want it. zoom in and then check yeah so let's check the before and after this is the before and then this is the after as you can see the skin is looking much smoother and much better than it was when we started increase and decrease just keep brushing mixing the colors up this side this swing this side a little bit more the neck yeah so at this point our skin is looking 
much smoother and much better than before. So you can continue and then you get your skin looking as smooth as you want, anyhow you want it to look like. So um, I think the smoothing is okay for me. Yeah, so for the video not to be so long, I'm not gonna continue any longer. So as uh, you can see, I hope you, you've gotten the idea on how to do it. So first you start with this, with the lasso tool and then just circle right click circle like this right click and you select the gaussian blur to apply the effects on it you're gonna set do everything yeah so re always remember to keep all this on the color layer right you can't do it over here you're gonna get a different effect you're gonna do all this on the color layer right so let me show you what you can also do on the texture layer to make your skin look much smoother so on the uh, sorry on the texture layer you're gonna select this tool that's a spot healing brush tool gonna decrease the size by pressing the open bracket key then you're gonna you see whenever you find any spots on his face on the face of your model or anything you're just gonna zoom in and then just brush on it like this to remove that spot yeah so you don't have to make the brush uh, the spot healing brush too, too big otherwise when you zoom out you're gonna still see the effects right which doesn't look really nice so you're gonna make sure it's as small as possible not too small but small enough so that it won't show when you zoom out all right then you're just gonna go ahead and then just brush on the sides that you don't like Yeah, so that is how you use the mixer brush tool and then the lasso tool to get a smooth skin on your image. I hope you learned something from this image. I hope you understood everything that you went over right now. If you have anything to tell me or if you have any questions, you can drop it in the comment section and I'm, I'll be glad to reply you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.